Is there anything more satisfying than a two-tap kill from a hand cannon in Destiny 2? How about two-tapping everything while also playing stasis? Constantly making your opponent wonder how the hell they died so fast and inevitably pushing them to this point. Welcome back Guardians, Gray here, and while I hope no one actually takes a samurai sword to their computer, this loadout will definitely leave your opponents frustrated and speechless. You guys may know I've been using 120 RPM hand cannons a lot in the Crucible lately, and today I wanted to go over the build and loadout I've been running that allows me to have four different methods working for you at all times to line up two taps left and right. This build has been a ton of fun and it's honestly what's allowing me to have some fun in things like Iron Banner amidst stasis just dominating everything. I know this is sort of the pot calling the kettle black, we're using stasis here, but at least it's not Shatter Dive, right? Starting off, let's take a look at the subclass and how we have it set up. First off, I am running Empowering Rift. This is a huge component of the build and allows us to essentially have two taps on cooldown. Running high recovery will give us really fast cooldowns on our rift as well because it's not affected by stasis like our other cooldowns are. I use burst glide as it gives us the most speed and agility with our jump but go with your personal preference here. And then of course we have the penumbral blast, our melee ability. This is also an important ability as it will guarantee us a two tap damage buff for 10 seconds thanks to the fragment Whisper of Hedrons, but we'll talk about that in a second. And then I choose to run Cold Snap Grenade. I know it's been nerfed a little bit and Duskfield is a really strong option for Warlocks, but this is all about just getting the freezes on enemies and proccing Whisper of Hedrons. Now as far as the fragments go, first up we have Whisper of Hedrons. This gives us a bonus to weapon damage after freezing a target with stasis. So now you can see how our melee and our grenade are essential to giving us two tap juice, quote unquote. Next we use Whisper of Durance, and while I know we aren't taking full advantage of the increase to slows it provides, its plus 10 strength offsets the penalties of Hedrons so we don't have to take a hit to our melee cooldown. Third will be Whisper of Bonds. There's some big negatives on this one. You get negative or you get minus 10 to intellect and discipline, but any frozen target we defeat will give us a nice chunk of super energy, and that means any frozen target, not just your own. So if you if your teammates freeze a target and you kill them, it'll proc Whisper of Bonds. It'll count like that. And fourth will be Whisper of Refractions, where defeating slowed or frozen targets will grant us class ability energy, giving us our Empowering Rift back even faster. I want to give a quick shout because I noticed this while I was testing for this video, but Whisper of Shards actually doesn't proc off of frozen enemies. It only procs off of the Glacial Crystals that you can spawn with the Glacial Grenade. The 10 Resilience is really nice, but this one, I feel like it's better utilized on either Hunter or Titan since Warlocks don't get much benefit out of that Glacier Grenade. Just something interesting I wanted to point out. So now that we understand the subclass, we understand two of the four ways in which we can set up two taps, Empowering Rifts and Whisper of Hedrons. Now let's talk about the loadout and armor that gives us the other two. Looking at our armor, this may come easy to some of you, but a lot of people I know don't run Charge with Light mods at all when playing PvP. We can add two element neutral mods to our gear and give us easy access to another way of two tapping. Taking Charge will allow us to become Charged with Light anytime we pick up an Orb of Light, anytime, from us or our allies. Keep that in mind because it's going to be important in a minute. High Energy Fire is the mod we want to pair it with as this will give us a bonus to our weapon damage whenever we are charged with light. It gives us a 20% damage increase and it's enough to put us in the 2 tap range with our 120. It also consumes that charge on kill, so keep that in mind. As far as the rest of our armor, we use Radiant Light and Powerful Friends on two arc pieces of gear to activate each other 
which gives us a free plus 20 strength and plus 20 mobility. It is a must have on any PVP build. And if you aren't using these mods, you're seriously missing out on free stats. Finally, we use any mods that will buff our primary gameplay. I'm using hand cannon targeting, hand cannon loader, unflinching hand cannon aim. You understand the gist here. It's anything that can make your gunplay feel better. And then on your class item, you can choose, this is really up to you, you can use either bomber on a solar piece or outreach on an arc piece. It will either reduce the cooldown of your grenade or your melee when you use your rip. The choice is really up to you. I prefer using bomber as the grenade cooldown is naturally longer than the melee cooldown. So we can offset that a little bit using bomber. And now for the final piece of the puzzle, our hand cannon of choice. Now understand you can run this setup with any 120 in the game right now, and they will all perform great. Iron Banner can hook you up with either Kremil's Dagger or the Steady Hand, but they are missing a crucial perk. Sturm is absolutely incredible. It has insane range with the Catalyst and it handles like a 140. It's currently my go-to hand cannon in most places in the Crucible. However, to take this build one click further, I am using the True Prophecy hand cannon. This hand cannon has great base stats and can roll with one essential perk we need here, Rampage. Unfortunately, Bungo up and removed True Prophecy from the damn loot pool for now, so hopefully you were lucky and kept one laying around. Bungie has at least confirmed that there is two new 120 hand cannons coming next season, so hopefully that's something to keep an eye out for as well, and maybe they'll have some similar perk rolls to True Prophecy. But anyway, having Rampage on a 120 makes this whole process flow together much smoother. It will put us in two tap range and fills the gap when we need to get momentum going again. You can use your Rift, secure the first kill with a two tap and proc Rampage. Using Rampage, you secure another two tap and if your weapon is masterworked, you'll spawn an orb of light. You can go and pick up that orb of light to become charged with light and you can bank a two tap with no timer on it thanks to high energy fire. This will all be happening fluidly while you play and then you can use your stasis abilities to give yourself some agency over when you need that damage boost from Hedrons. It's an extremely satisfying carousel ride if I do say so myself. I've been using this in all areas of the Crucible from trials to control and it's elite. Give it a try for yourself and show those stasis hunters and titans who the real masters of the darkness are. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and informative. If you did, please leave a like below for me as it helps the video reach more and more people and greatly helps the channel grow. If you would like to see more Destiny 2 content like this, then hit that subscribe button for me and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the Crucible. Peace.